Welcome, droid fans! May the 5th is here, Revenge of the 5th, followed by Revenge of the 6th. If you want to stretch all that shit, I really don't care. Um, I'd be a piss someone off earlier today about it, but you know what? 5th, 6th, 6th, all works, if you look at it that way. Hope you all enjoyed your free comic book day on Saturday, because I know I sure as fuck did. And as well, I hope you enjoyed May the 4th weekend. Now, a lot of announcements are starting to come out now, um, in regards to the Star Wars movie that's coming out of episode 7, but still not that much of a script yet, which we're all waiting for in awe. We all know we got Hamill back. That's awesome. We got Ford back. And we have Carrie Fisher back. Hopefully she'll be sober enough to make it through the movie. Um, this could work. Now, we just did a podcast yesterday where we kind of touched on um, a couple of the topics about it. But, I mean, realistically, what's the point of having a podcast about Star Wars Episode Seven when you know Jack and shit and Jack left town? 100 internet points to the person who can tell me who said that. So, a lot of news. Big news. And just to let you know, the droids got a media pass at Niagara Falls Comic Con. Thank you, Niagara Falls Comic Con. We will see you on Friday, June the 6th, I believe it is. I'm pulling on my trusty little calendar now because I always forget. Yep, the 6th. We will be there. Well, I will be there with bells and whistles on. We will also be there on the 7th and also on the 8th. So... An entire weekend. Make sure you look out for your fellow cosplayers. I know that Joker guy is going to be there on Sunday. I'm sure Arkham Knight's going to be there. Uh, even Roxy Dark Knight said he's going to be there Saturday and Sunday, I think. He's becoming a little bit of a fan favorite of the page, and he's been on our podcast quite a lot, so we enjoy having him. So we got some news. The trailer for the new Gotham TV show just came out. Stand by for the audio clip. I love this city. I see it going to hell. But I won't let it fall apart without a fight. My name's James Gordon. I'm a detective. My name's Bruce Wayne. I promise you, I will find the man who did this. So welcome to an actual TV show that looks good. I mean, I can't even stress that anymore. Is that you introduce all the characters at young ages like Bruce Wayne and Catwoman or children. So is Poison Ivy. And then you see the Riddler and Oswald Cobblepot the Penguin. It Obviously who is older, but I mean, this looks like a real origin story that you can really get into. And that sells me a lot. So go to YouTube or go to any other news media site or whatever you use. I'm sure it's on there right now. Watch the trailer. Um, the portrayal even of Gordon is pretty bang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No mustache. Who fucking cares a goddamn fucking mustache? If he wants a goddamn mustache, he'll grow a fucking goddamn mustache. It's just a fucking mustache. I must mustache you a question. But what it boils down to at the end of the day... If they follow the formula that Arrow is currently using, Gotham is going to be fantastic. Unlike on other things. Hey, this is the 10. The tab's 13. You're two minutes late, dude. Ah, oh, come on. I couldn't find a place. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Oh, you remember those days when you would watch a turtle movie and be like, that is is amazing before special effects and cgi came and blew up the market that any jackhole with a computer can just cheat and take away the artistry that is involved in rubber suits and actual cosmetics take it from me i am a ex-horror film buff and i used to make my own horror films there was many nights of corn syrup and red food coloring or kool-aid or 
tissue paper or pumpkins or whatever we would sit there and make all the special effects ourselves, and it was worth something and i think the problem is with michael bay which is the point i am alluding to is that he spends more time on saying well this is what i want i know i can get it because cgi is dime a dozen nowadays and he goes and do, does it but the problem is you got transformers and transformers 2 and transformers 3 you know transformers 4 with dinobots and now the tmnt where the turtles look so different now that that it's hard to get into the franchise so i highly doubt that michael bay is listening to my podcast because it's my podcast and i'm just a little joe schmo with a microphone well really cool microphone to be honest with you but i think that you need to go back to basics and down to stuff and he he's not the only person he is the person that has abused the power of the cgi has provided people that's what he has done. If he was like the rest of us or even anyone in the horror industry nowadays who actually spend the time building an actual prosthetic limb opposed to just going, well, it's a lot easier just to chop it off in CGI. Uh, you know, the artistry is gone. The respect is gone. And I understand Transformers. I get Transformers. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to make giant ass robots. Got it. But when it comes down to TMNT, the rubber suits would have worked, dude. Turtles do not have lips. And when it rains, it pours. Poor Brian Singer needs a day of future past. What? You like how I plugged this movie there, even though he's in a world of shit? I still plugged it. Still plugged it. It's not going to end. Like, I mean, as much as you want to push it off to the side about how he's being accused of fondling men or boys or both at the same time, I don't really care. But I, the only reason why I care, like the rest of us, because he's the guy of X-Men. And maybe this will stop Age of Apocalypse. That's a big maybe. That's a very, very, very big maybe. But come on. And this, and this, I'm not going to his defense because I'm not. Because, you know what, I'm not saying he did it or didn't do it. But it wouldn't surprise me. And I brought this up on a recent news podcast two or three ago. About celebrities and about how they get to a certain stage of their life or their career. And the rules out the window. Yes, that does happen. You know it does. I know it does. Madonna adopts children, buys kids all over the world. So just to find out a director may have diddled a fucking t teenager or took pictures or, um, I mean, that's his own different difference. Like, I mean, that's his own business. But his problem is, is that he turned a blind eye to it because he's all focused about days of future past. But you got to keep in mind, bud, you're a celebrity now. Regardless if you are a good celebrity, a bad celebrity, or even a D-list celebrity, people will talk about you now. You could have just been the walk-on guy to hold Schwarzenegger's scarf for him while he's killing people in Terminator. But you know what? If you get popular because of it, the, everyone wants to know. So you can't just sweep it underneath the rug and hope it doesn't happen. Because now these people keep coming back and finding with, well, we have this evidence. Of course you're fucked. There's no nice way to put it. Is that if you actually did do it, you should be sweating bullets right now. Like, I mean, hate to say it, but you kind of have a face of a person that would do stuff like that. And that's not like a profiling comment. I just, when I look at his face, I'm like, yeah, I'm not surprised in the least. I, it really does bother me. But maybe, Brian, while you're sitting at home and reading all these news articles and probably being narcissistic and vain over it, Maybe you should probably call up whoever you need to call and say, hey, um, we're going to pause X-Men uh, Age of Apocalypse for now. I need to figure my shit out. Because it comes back and bites you in the ass. Look at all those celebrities who said, ah, it'll fucking go away. It never does. Look at Michael Jackson. He did the same thing. He addressed it. And he went in seclusion. And then we saw him years later just because of what video, the This Is It video, he looked frail. His life was destroyed because he just put everything off to the side and just wanted to forget it happened. Regardless if it's true, you have to stand up and stand up for yourself. I'm sorry. That's how I look at things. And the car accident continues. I must be talking about comic book stuff because then I saw a picture of Franco. Franco. What the fuck are you doing? Franco, why are you taking his semi-naked selfies and putting it on the internet? Didn't you learn lessons? Shit, I fucking learned this when the internet was born. You don't do that stuff. Smarten up. 
Like, your picture, no offense, is not flattering in any shape or form. It's just weird. Like, I even know. No idea what's going on there. None. I'm kind of concerned, buddy. What happened? Did you run out of Green Goblin money and now you need to take pictures to try and get some type of, you know, thrill? Gotten shit recently for, you know, trying to expose yourself to an underage, underage teen, I think it was. But really? Come on, dude. See, this is what pisses me off about Hollywood. This kind of shit. You don't realize what you fucking have until it's gone. Ask guys like Hulk Hogan and all those other people who had millions and got fucked once. That's all it took. You got fucked once. And now you have nothing. Now you have nothing. And that's why I will always respect a pro wrestler. Only play because you cannot be a hit overnight. That is something that takes time and something that gets you popular and you earn your money. But you have to learn right away that money is not everything. You have to make sure you bank that shit and live life the best you can. You can't end up like half these celebrities because you either end up as a broken down D-lister that is a joke on, on the Walk of Fame like Tara Reid or Lindsay Lohan, or any of these other fucking crazy-ass fucking people, or you end up dead like River Phoenix. Like, come on. Or Amy Winehouse. These people throw away their fucking lives that they have no even, in my opinion, don't even have a right to have to begin with because they're so talented and they everything was so easy to them. Some of them anyways. I'm not saying that every not everyone earned their stripes. But there is people out there that had to work their asses off to get what they want. And then they became immature and they fucked up their own life while the rest of us are going to work doing our 9 to 5 jobs. And anyone who's listening to this podcast, I already know, hail fucking Hydra. That's all I'm going to say. And with that, kids, 12 minutes is the podcast time, a lot longer than last week. Uh, more of a rant. Uh, I'm kind of in a pissy mood, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Thank you for listening yet again to the droids you are looking for, Canada. Won't lie to you, we've been busy. Our admin, Rick, has actually been securing some cosplayers. Um, I don't want to spoil it. I kind of do, because I'm excited, but I don't, because... It's spoiling things. Um, where I'm also in the process of moving the uh, moving the uh, droid studio to another location. It's just been such a crazy time right now. So stay tuned. Um, there will be another podcast this week, whether it's a tech review or it will be my review of the droids you are looking for. Review of the downloadable content for Arkham R Origins. I did post a text note. I do have the audio done. I just never put it up. And there's also another pop out. Make sure you check out Niagara Falls Comic Con on June 6, 7, and 8. Some of the celebrities ranging from Carl from The Walking Dead to Bud Bundy and even my personal favorite, and I've always been a fan of since a kid, Ernie Hudson, you know him as Winston from the Ghostbusters, will be there as well. Uh, there's so much more, and there, you know what, I'm piecing together right now an advertisement that will roll at the beginning of every single podcast, uh, because they graciously gave us a media pass, which they did not need to. And they did. So we will definitely respect them and make sure we advertise the shit out of this. But with that said, thank you for listening to the Droids You Are Looking For podcast news. And uh, I'll see you soon. Game over, man. It's game over. Thanks for listening to the Droids You Are Looking For podcast. Stay tuned for next week's podcast. Remember, the Force will be with you always.